Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna be in a game. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to say hello and welcome to my tutorials on how to make a car in the Unreal Engine 5. Woo! Alright. Hello everybody, welcome back. Right then. In order to import a model that you've made in Blender to Unreal Engine 5, the first thing you need to consider is how big is your model. Now if you look at this, if we select this, we can see that mine is 130,000. Let's have a look. No, select it. Yeah, 130,000 vertices for the whole model. Now when I first started this, this was like in the millions, you know what I mean? So you really need to consider optimizing your model. You can't, I've chosen not to have subdivision surfaces on. As you can see around here, look, it's necessary. Otherwise it will just try and import for ages and ages. You don't want that. Now, the structure must be set out this way where you parent all the calipers and all the wheels into the body like that so it can close up. So when you save it as an object, it's got predefined areas like your wheel and your calipers. Now, obviously you need to consider the origins of these, each individual items like the wheel. You need to make sure that your origin is in the middle. So if we show your origins, uh, you need to be understanding this kind of thing. So if we click on this one, we can, if we zoom in, you can see it, look, we've got our origins for every single wheel and the body. Now, another thing to consider is, I believe if we click here, if we click here, this one here, look, see the unit system is in metric. And what we need to do is change it from one to 0 0.01. So the scaling when you import into Unreal actually matches the model kind of thing. Now it's an issue with just each program basically uses a different unit system, you know what I mean? So you have to correct that, otherwise the collision system's not going to work, yeah? So you need to make sure that's an imperative. So you got to parent your things, you got to correct the origins, and you need to sort the scaling out. So when you click on it, you can actually convert dimensions correctly. Now that doesn't seem right. Well, it's right because it worked it in, but basically you'll know it's right when your origins look dead tiny like that. <laughs> yeah, there we go, look, you can see it. The Y, the Y is about two meters and the car is about four meters. It's about four meters, so we know we're correct there. I was clicked on the wrong object kind of thing. If you select a wheel kind of thing, you can see it's like about eight, probably like a 22 inch wheel if I'm honest, but I wanted some big boy wheels on it. That, but, and just a quick one. It's also worth noting that if you used to rig a car, you're used to having the Y as the forward and backwards, where by the looks of things in Unreal, X is the forward axis, yeah? Because you're looking down, so forward is X, and like Y is left and right. So it's kind of different with gaming as opposed to Blender. It's definitely worth mentioning that. Now, when we export it, we need to go to export and click FBX. It will create an object, yeah? And what we need to do, it's wise to make a preset once you've done it. I've done it up there. And what it is, is you need to change the geometry to face. Because that's how it's going to work, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's pretty much the only thing you need to like change. Name, name your folder and then click export. Job done. So then, step two. The next thing we need to do is open up the Unreal Engine. If you've not done this before, you need to go and download it from the Epic Games launcher. So if you go into your library, or if you click on Unreal, and then click like download it. So if we click launch, so it will load eventually. It might be a bit slow on the first time, but we'll be presented with this window. Now, obviously this is going to be a car tutorial, so we're going to want games and vehicle. It's pretty self-explanatory. Have an explore. If you've not used it before, definitely go and explore. You know what I mean? You can lose a few days exploring and learning all the little intricacies. It's worth doing. But otherwise, I like to select on the desktop and then you can name your project here and then click create. And you'll notice it's created the project here. Look, we let it load. Like I say, it can take a, lo a long time for the first time. Got to load all the shaders. So you've got yourself a quickly made template. So if we press control and space, that's your first shortcut you're gonna learn in Unreal. Control and space brings up this menu here. This is like the hub of your entire game. So we can see we've got the track, we've got vehicles, and we've got vehicle templates. What we need to do is import a vehicle, don't we? So if we open the vehicles, you'll notice that we have all the starter pack things. Just ignore those for now. And if we right click, we have all these menus. This menu is very useful as well. We need a new folder and we 
we need to call it. That's my car's name, so that's what it is. <laughs> uh, if we create a new folder, call it Serials, and create a new folder or meshes ish all right it's helpful to just get that done and dusted now we've done that i may as well teach you how to save the project what you do is you click this one here you click it to save like whatever you've done it'll probably auto save and it'll come up with a menu but that's how you save basically it's worth knowing that so the next thing we need to do is import that model don't we so if we look here we can click import model now i've got mine stashed here look so if i click this one here click open what we need to make sure we tick is the skeletal mesh we need this for the collisions so if we click that one we shouldn't need to click anything else if we click import all now this can take some time and this is where you need to make sure you've optimized your model so just sit back sit tight and wait for it to finish press control space and we can open it up here and what we can do is dock it in the layer and then it will lock it in like this i like it like this it's just more manageable what we need to do and it's handy to show you how to do it is if we select all like you usually would like that, only the materials and then we drag them into the materials folder and click move here that's how you move things you can copy it or you can move it yeah that's how you do that and you should have this here you'll have a skeletal mesh a physics asset and a skeleton first thing we need to do is double click on the physics asset and it'll open a new window up and it'll probably look like this kind of thing to navigate you use your right mouse button hold it down and then you use your wsad keys to like move around yeah and that's how you can navigate your thing if you want if your graphics are struggling you can click it into unlit like that kind of thing and that'll help it out the reason we're in this physics asset is to set up the collisions, yeah? So what we need to do is these four wheels need to be spheres and this body needs to be, I forget what it's called, a primitive type and it needs to be a single convex hull. So if we click that and then we click regenerate bodies, you'll notice it's changed around kind of thing. Right, change it back. Can you see how it's now matching the body? That's basically a collision shell, so it knows where the edge is, yeah? That's, that, we need that. So if we go onto these four here, and then we change these into spheres and regenerate, it'll match our wheels kind of thing. And this is where the scaling is important with the Blender file. If you don't put in 0 0.01, none of this will match up kind of thing. Mm. Now, we now we've completed this stage, we can press save and we can close this window now. It'll bring us back to our main hub. Now you're at this stage, you should be able to drag and drop your vehicle into the scene like this, look, which is awesome. Now there's a few things worth mentioning. If you want to navigate this actor, is what they call it in Unreal Engine. You need to click these, look. You can select objects with this one and then you can move the object with the little things here. Yeah or you can rotate with this one and it's always got snapping on i kind of like it so you can rotate it in the right direction kind of thing yeah so you should be able to do this by now what you'll notice is as well is this the windows aren't see-through are they and that's because when you export an object through blender it's not if you've not unwrapped the objects as well it'll mess it up so you need to make sure it's unwrapped and as well you're going to need to rebuild these materials it's a big pain but at the same time it's worth doing because it's going to teach you how the materials work in unreal engine 4 is it not so if we click in these objects look we can see that a lot of them have broken like that should be metallic so if we double click on it it'll open it up and we have it like we do in there but basically it means you need to rebuild the materials in unreal i'll cover that in another video for now don't worry about it just make sure that your model's nice and basic with the colors you know what i mean that as long as you you can pick your base color for now and it all translate you know what i mean so what i'm thinking as well is i'm probably going to be using unreal's free assets as well so I'll cover that in another video. For now, this looks absolutely acceptable for me. So then, for the namesakes, we'll end this tutorial here. If you want to be able to drive this car with a control pad, then click this video here, or otherwise, subscribe for the next video. Thanks for watching everyone, and thanks for the support. Boo boo!